Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. This video picks up where my previous video left off. We just deployed Active Directory Federation services using Azure AD Connect setup. ADFS is the single sign-on method for our aaco.local AD domain users to log into Office 365. In this video, we're going to migrate from ADFS to password hash synchronization for single sign-on. Then our users will be logging directly into Office 365 and we won't have to maintain the ADFS servers and the web application proxy servers. Look in the description down below for the links to these articles I used as a reference while making this video. This is the high level view of the objectives that are in scope for this project. Evaluate the environment. Set permissions on the service account to perform password hash sync. Enable password hash synchronization. Prepare for seamless single sign-on. Change sign-in method from ADFS to password hash synchronization. And test single sign-on with password hash sync. First, let's evaluate the environment. Microsoft recommends that you're using the latest version of Azure AD Connect when you're performing this. The minimum version is 1.1.819.0 or better. If you deployed ADFS without using AAD Connect Setup, this is outside the scope of this video. Using AAD Connect Setup to migrate from ADFS to Password Hash Sync and Seamless SSO is an all or nothing deal. If you have multiple verified domains in your Office 365 tenant, they will all become unfederated. If you need to keep some of your domains federated in ADFS, you'll need to use PowerShell to manually work through this. For our scenario here, we're going ahead with aaco.online, the federated domain. I'm signing into the sync server to confirm the current settings. We run set AD sync scheduler sync cycle enabled to false. This way, we can run Azure AD Connect setup. Click View or Export Current Configuration. Next. We can see that Password Hash Sync is not enabled. Let's log into the ADFS server. We need to import MS Online module, connect MSOL service, and log in with our Cloud Global Admin account. Now, Let's run this get msol domain federation settings command targeting the aaco.online domain. Here you can check if on-prem or third-party multi-factor authentication is in use, or if the preferred authentication protocol has been modified. Any customization of ADFS needs to be taken into account before proceeding with migration to password hash sync. We run this command to back up the Microsoft Office 365 Identity Platform Worldwide RP Trust. This is just a precaution. In real life, I don't see the need to delete or modify this RP Trust while migrating to password hash sync. It's easy enough just to disable it in ADFS. High level step two is set permissions on the service account to perform password hash sync. This is done on the AAD Connect Sync server. We import module adsyncconfig.psm1 using the full path to that file. Let's look at the properties of the AD connector in AAD Connect to get the name of the service account used by Sync for Active Directory. Then you run this command, set AD Sync password hash sync permissions, targeting that service account and the AD domain. Oops, we need to install the RSAT AD tools. So we install the RSAT AD tools. Now we import the AD sync config PSM1 module and run the set AD sync password hash sync permissions command again. Here you get a lot to read as the detailed ACLs get echoed back in the console. High level step three. When you think about it, if you're going to switch sign-on methods from ADFS to password hash sync, you need the password synced first. Let's run AD Connect Setup. 
we sign in with our Cloud Global Admin account. We just need to click through to the optional features page. Here, we enable password hash synchronization. We go ahead and click the Start Synchronization When Configuration Completes tick box. I read that password hash sync occurs every two minutes in AAD Connect. There's no way to modify this. Figure approximately 20,000 passwords can sync in an hour. Make sure to allow time for this before going on to the next step. Also, make sure to set AD Sync Scheduler Sync Cycle Enabled back to true in the meantime so Sync will continue to work in the background while you wait. High Level Step 4 Change Sign In Method from ADFS to Password Hash Synchronization. Stop the Sync Scheduler. Run AAD Connect Setup. Here you want to click on Change User Sign In and click Next. Sign in with the Cloud Global Admin account. We can see ADFS is the current selection. Let's select the Password Hash Synchronization option. We also need to acknowledge this warning about all federated domains converting to managed in order for us to proceed. I know I want to go ahead with AACO Online, but make sure you understand how to address all the custom domains you have in your environment before going forward from here. Notice how clicking Password Hash Synchronization option also switches on the Enable Single Sign-On by default. This is a topic all its own that we cover in detail at the end of this video. You want to consider the implications of enabling Single Sign-On. You do not need to enable Single Sign-On for you to use Password Hash Synchronization as a sign-in method. Click Next. We need to enter our domain credentials here to configure Single Sign-On. We're ready to run AAD Connect configuration again to change the sign-on method. Click Next and watch the progress. At the completion, we're presented with this link to configure seamless Single Sign-On through Group Policy. We'll cover that in detail shortly. First, let's see what's changed. On the ADFS server, we run the get msol domain federation settings command for AACO online and we see nothing, no federation. Let's refresh the Azure portal now. Here you see no federated domains and there is one domain enabled for seamless single sign-on. In custom domains, there's no federated domains. And aaco.localad domain is configured for seamless single sign-on. Let's go ahead and test signing into portal.office.com as aaco.user16 at aaco online. Here, you see we are signing into Azure AD directly, not going to our old ADFS sign-on page. We get into the Office 365 portal now as aaco.user16. This is the experience without seamless single sign-on. High level step five. Yes, I swapped the order between steps four and five. We will apply the three GPO settings in this article. In my simple environment, I will use the default domain policy. We are navigating to the security page under internet control panel. Select site to zone assignment list. We enable this policy and enter this URL from the article in the list with a value of 1. Now, navigate to the intranet zone under security page to enable this allow updates to the status bar via script. Here, I have to sort the settings to find this. You see, it is enabled. Now, we're navigating to Preferences under User Configuration to add a registry entry. You are just copying and pasting the key path here 
and setting the name to HTTPS reg d word value 1 in hexadecimal. Now I'm logged into a corporate desktop. Actually, this is aaco.user16 logged into the ADFS server to test seamless single sign on. Who am I shows aaco.user16, and you see we just ran GP update. Let's browse to portal.office.com, and sure enough, we stroll right in without any username or password prompt. That is seamless SSO, yes. Let's talk about this computer account named Azure AD SSO ACC that got created when we ticked that seamless single sign-on tick box. That was when we converted from ADFS to password hash sync. It gets dropped into the computer's container in AD, but this account is highly sensitive. It could be used by malicious attackers to generate Kerberos tickets for any user in the forest, and you need to perform this rollover of encryption keys on this account manually at least every 30 days. When I read this, it makes me want to reconsider enabling seamless single sign-on when I switch to password hash sync. I leave it for you to judge that for your own environment. Okay, we did it. We successfully accomplished all the high-level steps to migrate from ADFS to password hash sync and we can see our users are able to conveniently access Office 365. Leave a comment down below about what you think of this Azure AD SSO ACC account. And before you go on to watch more of these videos, please check the links in the description down below. Give this video a like. Also, please click on subscribe to help me keep making these videos. Thank you very much.